Did we stick to it? We definitely tried. because like it's cold outside but I'm sweating. I'm gonna get sick, I know I am. I feel good, it was a really good workout. Worked out some muscles that I forgot I had, that's for sure. I'm headed to go get Roman from school. Um, I would have stayed in the gym longer but it's time for me to pick him up. So I um, went to go get my nails done so it took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. Today is the day that the kids go to their dad's house. So I get to spend some time with Roman this afternoon, which is always nice. But I do need to do like a couple things. Like I have, I'm pretty much done Christmas shopping for the kids, but I still need to get to him a few things. Um, but I haven't been able to like go Christmas shopping for him yet because I'm trying to figure out how I can do it without him knowing where I am but I don't know it's so confusing so as you guys know Tim and I have snapchat and you can see like you can allow pe certain people to see like where you are and stuff and of course, I don't allow like the public to see where I am, but I do allow Tim to see where I am. So I feel like I might have to ghost him on Snapchat, and then I might have to hide myself on the 360 app. We have the 360 app for the family where we can see where everybody is and where everybody's been the entire day. And he literally can see where I'm going all day long, which is fine with me on a normal day-to-day -day basis. But when I'm trying to Christmas shop for him, it makes it really hard because then he's going to kind of know what I'm doing, especially if he knows like what stores I'm going to and stuff. So that's why I was like, dang it, I should have like online shopped for him since the beginning. But now it's like getting too close for Christmas and I couldn't find like exactly what I wanted for him and I kind of wanted to go to the stores and see them before I just bought them online it's so confusing if I could just tell you what it is I would but I know Tim is gonna watch this so I can't but anyways yeah I'm gonna have to figure that out sorry Tim babe I love you but I'm gonna have to ghost you for a little bit all right guys Roman and I are home Relaxing at home. He wanted to show me something real quick though. I want to be that Halloween. Spider Man? Yeah. Well, seeing as how we have like a whole year, almost, almost a whole year until next Halloween, I don't think that should be an issue. Here's a two hours on your bow wheel. Do you know that you've already been Spider Man for Halloween before? When you were two, you were Spider-Man. Mom, I want to be, I see, I be like red and, and, uh, white, but I want to be actually rainbow Spider-Man, like my size. You want to be a rainbow Spider-Man? Yeah, like my size. I didn't even know there was a rainbow Spider-Man, but that's cool. Mom. So it is ending up to be one of those days. 
where um, I don't have a lot to vlog. <laughs> because you guys already know that the kids are with their dad today and um i don't have a life without my kids is that an issue probably right now all i'm really doing is sitting here watching tv because like my house is clean because i keep up with it i'm just sitting to fold some laundry right here but it's not a huge pile and I'm not allowed to touch those boxes over there. Tim said no. I won't touch them. But other than that, Roman is being extremely good um, playing some games and eating oatmeal. We were coloring and stuff earlier. I guess I could have vlogged that, but <laughs> Tim will be home in a little bit. He's gonna be bringing dinner and stuff. And then hopefully we'll be able to like chill but other than that there's not a lot going on today sorry guys but i did want to talk a little bit about um talk about maybe like update you guys a little bit on how our christmas shopping has been going because obviously we were going to try to do i don't know if you guys have been watching us for a while or not um but we were talking earlier this year about possibly doing uh something you want something you need something to wear and something to read that's what we were going to be doing this year did we stick to it? We definitely tried, but it ended up kind of being a fail. I don't really know. Okay, it's hard to explain. It's not like we failed because we definitely are not going anywhere near where we were last year. Last year was a little bit crazy with the gift giving. A little bit of a recap. So yeah, it's definitely not going to be like last year, but um, we did get them more than four things each. So obviously we didn't go by that. So, but I did make sure that it was things that they, that they asked for and that they needed because those were like the needing part was a big part for me because I wanted to get them things that they would use and not just toss away in a couple weeks you know what i mean so everything that we have been getting them they're either going to absolutely love and play with all the time or they needed it for some reason or another but they definitely are going to have a good christmas they're just not going to have as much unnecessary gifts i guess you could say do i want to try to keep sticking to the whole something you want something you need something to wear something to read absolutely i love the idea and i love that it makes us feel less stressed around christmas because we feel like we don't have to overachieve anything it's it's definitely less stressful and the kids didn't react to it how i thought they would i thought they would be more bummed because they won't be getting a lot of gifts because honestly in their life they've been extremely spoiled on christmas um because they're growing up you know in two different homes um so they have gifts from their dad they have gifts from me they have gifts from two different sets of grandparents and aunts and uncles so they, they are spoiled hence why i've decided to do this because they do get gifts from other people as well not just the house and also santa is bringing them a gift as well so it's not like it's gonna hurt anything if they get less presents because they're so spoiled anyways. Hey guys, Wednesday afternoon. That's what day it is, Wednesday. Almost through the week, halfway. Anyways, brought my camera with me yesterday and left it in the car and I told Melody that I would vlog today, which I have not done yet today, but that's because I was running late for work again and then I can't bring my camera into work, so I just thought about it my drive home I figured I'd <clears throat> do a little something anyways I'm driving home right now I gotta stop at the store pick up one thing for dinner because Mel Roman and I are just gonna eat dinner at home tonight and the dogs need food also so I'm gonna do that on my way home and then I'll be home 
lay on the couch and do nothing. Hopefully, ice my shoulder. So I have food and an empty water bottle. And I got buckets of soda. We probably won't even finish them. But Mel and I have a thing for fountain drinks. So I grabbed us some fountain drinks. Now it's time to go home. All right guys, we ate dinner. And this dude fell asleep. But he's sleeping so weird. He always sleeps weird though. Would you wrap in there? Present. Oh yeah? To be more specific. You just said what the, what the. Hopefully she doesn't watch it. She's definitely gonna watch it. I said I'm rapping. <laughs> For. I could use you more often. For sound effects. If you let me talk too much, then you're going to need more of the beep. <laughs> beep, beep. One down. Oh, can't show those. Can't show it. I'm not going to argue with you, Susan. I don't know who Susan is. And I don't know what it's going to take for me to make that happen. And that's scary. That's really scary. <laughs> I was focusing. Does anybody else's fiance's boyfriend's husband's do this? Where they take the big presents and put them in the front instead of organizing them and putting them in the back. I can't get back there. You're better at that. Big presents go in the back. To leave space for the little presents so they can all be seen. Like that. But as I said earlier, obviously we don't have too many presents. I mean, it's not like overkill like last year. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for today's vlog. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And we'll see you guys later.